Woo! My little explosion here. I just felt a little bit lighter. Nice long like stripe of <laughs> It's like constellations. Hi guys, I'm Emery Lane. <laughs> where my goal is to find you the best beauty products for the best prices. In today's video, we're going to be doing a battle with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Loose Setting Powder versus the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Pressed Powder. <laughs> I have tried out the pressed powder before. I didn't know there was a loose powder though. So as soon as I found out, I was like, we gotta see which one's better. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to be doing the pressed powder on my left and the loose powder on my right. I have acne that, you know, you can't see right now, but I have a couple cyst exits on my left side and I want to see if the pressed powder can handle it. I already have the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer and the Physician Formula, the Healthy Foundation on my face, which anytime I bring it up in a video, I get terrified that it's not going to be there anymore because supposedly they're done with this. But this is my favorite foundation to try out like powders and stuff with, so I hope they decide not to discontinue it. The battery is almost dead flip. Okay, I'm gonna be using brushes for both sides just because that's what, what's recommended for the loose powder and the pressed powder it says you can use either a sponge or a brush. So pressed powder first. It is an all day powder infused with oil absorbing rice powder and is available in 12 shades. This mattifying pressed powder provides a long lasting smooth matte finish and minimizes the appearance of oil and shine. Sands to wear of makeup, I would hope. No transfer, no smudging, no makeup interruptions. Okay. As a sheer coverage with a non-drying, non-cakey, non-ashy finish for all skin tones, lightweight and comfortable formula. It's buildable and easy to blend out without settling into fine lines. Skin texture looks smoother, softer, and is perfect for normal to oily skin. And it goes for $8 at Ulta and most other places it's also around $8. So Ulta doesn't really have the price for this one. The pressed powder I have it in the shade light and in the loose powder I have it in the shade light medium because they were out of light. So I'm crossing my fingers, it's not gonna be too dark. <laughs> Woo! My little explosion here. Ooh, that looks yellow. And yes, one of my powder brushes is gray. I think it's stained, because I've washed it, and it's still gray. Okay, we're just gonna get a little bit. I'm so nervous about this color. Will I be yellow? Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, it's kind of bad. There's definitely a difference, but you know, whatever we need to do for the video. Each silky soft shade of this finishing powder imparts <laughs> What? Imparts a matte veil of comfortable color in shades that extend across multiple skin tones. Love that. The feathery light formula is also or oil absorbing. Oh my goodness. While leaving behind a smooth matte finish. They really don't have a ton of information. It comes in two, four, it looks like six shades. Yeah, so about half the amount of shades as the pressed powder one. And it goes for $12. It looks like depending on what shade, Walmart has it for cheaper. So if you're interested in this, I would check Walmart's website too. Oh, there's a hair in my eyelash, like caught. It's making my eye water. Come on, get out of there. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup real fast so I don't look like a powdery ghost, and I'll be right back. It's currently 12:18. <laughs> Okay, so this is what things are looking like with all the makeup on. I will say when I was like doing the rest of my makeup, I noticed some cracking right here on both sides and also right here, which doesn't normally happen with this. So I don't know if it was just, I just waited too long to apply my powder after I put on my foundation. Anyway, I just took a damp sponge and kind of like pressed those out and we should be fine. It's not the end of the world for me to have to kind of like smooth things out while I'm still doing my makeup. I didn't use any primer beforehand and I'm not using any setting spray after. I will say when I was applying the loose setting powder, I did notice that it felt lighter than the pressed powder on my face and I was just applying it, but it just felt a little bit lighter. Just a little bit. It's not like the pressed powder is heavy like at all. It just felt like this side feels like I don't have any powder on at all. And the pressed powder you can feel like just a little bit more. When it comes to things looking more smooth, the pressed powder does kind of have that upper hand. Things just look a little bit more smoothed out on this side. It still looks smooth on this side. I don't know if you noticed, but when I was applying it on both sides, I kind of pressed the powder a little bit more with like the sides of the brush around my nose and like right on like the edge of my cheeks where I do have more enlarged pores. Kind of help things like fill in stuff. Don't know if that made a difference, but <laughs> we did it anyway. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go about my day. I'm gonna do a check-in halfway throughout the day. It's not gonna be a natural life because of freaking daylight savings time. I didn't take it into account. I hate daylight savings time so much. So it'll be dark. So I'll just, you know, do it where I can find the best lighting that isn't necessarily my studio lighting so we can get a more realistic look and also see how things are holding up. I'll be testing this out for at least 12 hours, probably more, honestly. It's Saturday and I'm excited to watch a movie tonight. But yeah, I'll see you in just a second. <laughs> 
Not the best lighting on the planet, but it'll do. We're at about the halfway point and you can see one side is kind of shiny and the other side isn't really like right here. It kind of is like it's not really that bad, but this side specifically in this area really dry. Any areas that might be dry right now on this side are not. So this is turning interesting. What is going on with my eyebrow right there, man? Weird. My forehead on either side is the same. That's there's no difference. Only really different is my nose. This spot right here on either side. I would say everything else looks great at, at this point and it'll be interesting to see if this side gets more oily or if it stays about the same It's just my nose is gonna freak out or if it gets dry on this side or more oily on this side It could go either way at this point. <laughs> so we'll just have to see what happens straight at the end of the video It is 1 12. So it's been like 12 and a half hours something like that I don't remember exactly what time I started. It's been more than 12 hours And this is what the face looks like. We got a little bit more dry right here where that problem area was Also this this zit right here got a little dry. This one was fun though. I have like a nice long like stripe of zits It's like constellations. I wouldn't say that this side got any more shiny than it was Like my forehead's not shiny at all. My cheeks are shiny. It's just my nose is like the same amount of shininess So that's good. This side of my nose eventually got shiny probably about 10 hours in is when it started getting shiny but again that's not that got shiny really like my chin like i'm like it's good and i forgot to mention i didn't put highlighter on so if you see any shine it's not from highlighter it's from me <laughs> uh it did get a little bit creasy in between the eyebrows and I mean, my bronzer's fading in a weird way for whatever reason on my forehead only so it's probably because it got a little too oily right next to my hairline that can happen sometimes so this is my thoughts both of these are good i would say if you're just slightly slightly oily and you tend to dry out which is i'm guessing a smaller group of people but this still thing this is what you want to go for unless you want like really really smooth that pores just from your powder but like i feel like this is gonna be better for like a bigger group of people are they perfect like no neither of them are perfect because <laughs> my face is oily at the end of the day but i would say this has a little bit more benefits and as long as your skin doesn't dry out too easily i would go with this if your skin tends to dry out a little bit but you want a matte look still this is what you're go to is I feel like this is just a little bit better it's cheaper comes in more shades there's just a little bit more benefits to them and it's still really lightweight even though it's not quite as light as weight as this one if you want to see a full day wear test on the new NYX concealer serum you can click right here I will link everything I talked about in the description box below those links are affiliate links so I do get a small percentage of the profits if you use my link to buy the product but it does not affect you in any way I love you guys so much and don't ever forget that you are enough bye <laughs>